Hi, my name is Mel and I'm a full-time eBay seller here in Australia. Now, I buy secondhand books from thrift stores, Facebook Marketplace, Gumtree, and I sell them on eBay to make money. Now, are you wondering what books to sell on eBay? How do you even know where to start when there's so many books to buy? Now, when you start selling on eBay, you're going to start to notice many of the same authors over and over in all the different thrift stores. Now, you're going to start seeing these books in abundance and you're going to start looking up the sales comps on the eBay app and looking up completed sales. And then you're going to start wondering to yourself, how are booksellers making any money? Because these books are selling for cheap. The common authors that you find in abundance will sell for the cheapest on eBay. Now, today I'm going to use the crime and thriller genre as an example. Now, the crime and thriller genre is one of the most popular genres that people either buy brand new or secondhand to read. So obviously, when a book author becomes very, very popular, then those are the books that you're going to start to notice in abundance. You'll also start to notice that some of these authors, they don't just have a couple of books that they've written, they have tens and tens of books. Now, the 10 most popular crime and fiction authors that I personally sell in my eBay store are these ones. One, David Baldashi. Two, James Patterson. Three, John Grisham. Four, Kathy Reaches. Five, Michael Connolly. Six, Stephen King. Seven, Robert Ludlam. 8 Lee Child, 9 Matthew Riley, and 10 JD Robb by Nora Roberts. Now, all of these authors can be easily found in your thrift stores or on Facebook Marketplace. Now, all of these authors are worldwide top selling authors. So, of course, they're going to be popular, and of course, you're going to be able to find them in any thrift store that you go to. Now, when you sell individual common books by common authors, you are then competing against many, many sellers who are also selling identical books. So this just means it can lead to being a race to the bottom and who's going to sell it for the lowest price. And at the end of the day, that doesn't help anyone. Now, the profit you're going to make on these books is low. And that's why it's so important that I preach to you that you must buy these type of individual common books for low pricing. Do not pay up for these books in the charity shop because you will not make enough money. You must be getting these common types of books either for free or for low in prices like 50 cents. Now, if I'm selling these common types of authors individually, I normally sell them for anywhere between 12 and $15 and that includes shipping. So these books are not where I'm making my high profits. Now, this is why I spend a lot of time building authors up in my death pile room. I have shelves of particular authors that I find very commonly and I build them up until I get enough books that I can make bundles and sets. Now by bundling up these common authors it means less competition for me. Now even if there's other sellers listing bundles on eBay, which there is, the chances are their bundles might be completely different to the bundles that I'm listing. Now I also might be the only seller with that particular assortment of books listed for sale, which means I can then command a higher price. Now it's also no more effort for me to list a bundle of books as it is to list an individual book. So it's the same amount of effort for me to list it and ship it but much more profit involved for me. Now you can apply this bundling method to anything that you want to sell on eBay. It doesn't have to be just books. You can bundle together CDs, DVDs, games, toys, even clothes. Now I love selling bread and butter items. I always have. I love them because I find them in abundance. I find them for cheap. I often get them for free. So they're easy for me to source. You just have to get smart about the way you list this bread and butter stuff so that you can make as much profit as you possibly can and stand out against the crowd of all the people who are selling the same items as individuals. Now I'm using James Patterson as an example here. I have a lot of James Patterson in my store and I have a lot of him here in my death pole because I pick him up and get given him often in large hauls that I buy off Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree. These shelves here one, two, three are all of James Patterson. And I don't really want to have this much listed all at once. So what I do is I keep some shelves here and I keep my stockpiles high. In fact, I have so much James Patterson listed that it would be hard for a buyer not to find my store if they were looking for James Patterson. Now, it would be pointless me trying to sell all this James Patterson as individual listings. I just wouldn't make enough money on it. So what I do is I save them up and I try to sell them as 
bundles. And as I sell James Patterson, I make up a couple of new bundles and I add him to my store. Now I do have James Patterson listed as individuals because obviously I have a lot of him. So I try and have that variety in my store. I have him listed individually. I have him listed in pairs. I have him listed in bundles of four, five, six, seven, eight books. Now, if you'd like to watch another video about how I talked about selling low end books and how I make money from selling low profit books, well, I discuss this in more detail. So I will put the link here to another video and you can click on there and follow through and watch that one now. Thanks so much for watching.